Brainstream Networks released a rather large update to their GWN.Cloud platform recently, and today we're going to jump in and have a look at some of the new features. Now these included some minor quality of life updates, as well as some new features which have not been on the platform before. So let's jump in and have a look at some of these. Now looking into the release note documentation that Grandstream put out for this new GWN.Cloud update, we can see that there are quite a large amount of features that have been added uh, with this update. Almost too many to make a video on. So today what we'll do is have a look at some of the features that I think are quite cool and we'll step through each one of those and give you a bit of an example of what that looks like in GWN.Cloud. Now, one of the first features we'll look at is the floor plan, which has been heavily requested by a lot of our users. So it's great to see that Grandstream has now implemented this into GWN.Cloud natively. So we'll now navigate into our GWN.Cloud and we can see that there is a map and floor plans option. Uh, all we need to do is make sure that floor plans is selected. First, add a building name. So we're gonna call this Go Wireless NZ based in Rangiora. We then need to give a floor plan. Now this can be a JPEG, PNG, or bitmap format. So we'll just say floor plan, upload an image. Uh, we'll just choose an example image. Upload this. Uh, as with any mapping software, we just need to set a reference point. So for here, we'll just say that this is four meters. And from there, we can start adding devices, whether they be adopted into our cloud already or virtual, if we just want to see the coverage. So let's just do an example here with a 7664. Add one of those in. We can now do heat map, five gig coverage. So we can see plenty of coverage. Obviously the building itself has walls, so we can start to add those in. And that will already start to attenuate. Another feature that has been released in this update is the long awaited option to configure your VPNs for the GWN70 routers within GWN.cloud. So, as we can see, if we navigate to settings VPN, we now have the option of configuring the likes of OpenVPN, IPsec, and as well as WireGuard, which is great to see. Uh, prior to this, it did um, require you to remote in to the router or log into it locally. Uh, but it's great to see that we now have this option in GWN.Cloud. The next feature we'll look at is the policy routes, which as we can see is just navigated to by settings, traffic management, and then policy routes. Now this particular feature is useful for the routers that have multiple WANs, uh, where you may want to say force a specific network out of specific WAN interface. So maybe you have a VLAN that you always want to use a specific WAN interface, whereas another VLAN is to use the other. So all we need to do is policy routes add, enable it, give it a name, traffic rule, whatever it may be, select the source, type in your source IP address or range, and then select your internet source. And the final feature I'd like to highlight is under the devices. Now this is a great feature, as you may know with Grandstream Cloud and other kind of uh, SDN based networking platforms. Uh, whenever you push a configuration, it will push live. Now that's not always the best when you are in the middle of the day where you want to make an update to a Wi-Fi password or anything like that, and it might take down the network. So now Grandstream has implemented a feature where I select a device, let's say this GWN7660, I can now unselect the auto configuration delivery. Now what this will do is when we make changes that apply to said device, it kind of pulls them up in a queue. Once we have uh, are happy sorry, to push said changes, we can then select the device and push the changes to the device. So this is a great option as mentioned for making changes during the day. Now that was just a small selection of features that Grandstream released for this latest update. And again, we will leave the full list of features and the release notes in the description below. And if there are any features that you would like to see a future video on, drop us a comment uh, down below and we may just make another video on those. And that was our video on the latest GWN Cloud update. Thanks everyone for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.